Now let's talk about the wallpapers on your iPhone. And the thing is that it seems like a basic topic because you can of course just change, just change the wallpaper easily. But with iOS 16, Apple introduced the wallpaper pairs and it's a bit more complicated. So of course, in the settings, you still have the wallpaper section. So tap it on it, it allows you to customize now not only wallpapers, but wallpaper pairs. So you can see this is my lock screen and this is the home screen. So I can customize this one right here. So I can choose a different photo or access it right here. You can pinch to crop it or do whatever you want. You can also change some filters on it as well, but I like this original one with the natural. By clicking on the photos, you can go to your photos and change it to whatever else you want. So it really just is up to you. But the thing is that if you choose it to be this thing, then it just make sure that it's gonna go like this. And yes, you can pinch to zoom it. And if you hit the done, the wallpaper pair is updated, meaning that the lock screen has been changed and not the regular home screen. So this one can be customized as well, pretty much in the same way. So here is the pair. You can change it and make it look uh, the same way as the wallpaper pair, like the lock screen one. So you can see that it's going to be the same uh, waterfall image, just blurry, but I'm going to make it my photos. So you can see this is the photo that I chose. It can be even a color or a gradient based on your customization. But I like to keep it at photos. If you tap it one more time, you can access the same menu and tap on here the photos and have access to your library. Here you have the featured photos, which it thinks that you may want to use, which are like more better photos according to the iPhone. So here you can browse, you can search, you can tag people, pets, or browse all of them. It's just up to you, but this is how you can do it. So you hit the done and you have a finished a wallpaper set. So right now, going to the lock screen, you can see I'm in a work mode, but I'm going to turn it off. You can see this is the wallpaper that we chose. However, if I hold down on it, I can switch to a different wallpaper pair. So it's going to be my dog and something else. And if I tap on it and come back to the home screen, you can see that even the background changes. You can see that it's a blurry image of my dog because this is what I set up to be the wallpaper pair. You can see I can customize it in here and change it to a gradient or something. And I'm going to make it purple, come back and it's now a purple wallpaper. And if we switch it back to my waterfall, we're going to come back and I don't have the purple dog or gradient or whatever. I have the pair. So you, you just like pair it together for some reason. I'm not sure if it's better or not, but this is just how it works. And people get confused sometimes because they, for example, change the lock screen. Like, yeah, I customize a new one. I'm going to just make it go like this. This looks interesting. The iOS 16 wallpaper, add whatever widgets. And now it just like sets wallpaper pair or customize home screen or whatever. You don't know what you want to do here. So you just kind of tap on the big button and come back to the home screen and everything is messed up. So this is how it works. And hopefully I explain it to you properly. I, you can see in my case, I use uh, these uh, photos widgets, which blend seamlessly. So any wallpaper, which I change besides this one is just going to make it look terrible. So no matter what I do. So that's why I cannot really mess around with it that much. And I always need to come back to my original one. And if I come back now, it just fits perfectly because you can see it's a widget in here. Anyways, hope this video helped you out. And if you want to know more things about it, for example, about the lock screen, how you can add text in here, your custom text to, to a widget on the lock screen, then check out this video right here in which I'm going to show you how it can actually be achieved and how you can do some cool stuff with your iPhone.